The merger of Traction ERAG and cross-training and duro skills has created one of the largest evil empires ever known, with offices opening up in Australia, Canada, Africa, and indeed right across the globe. And of course, we are recruiting the finest executives. Don't forget, boys and girls, it's only gay if you make eye contact. But of course, most dirt riders are soft, whining little Nancy boys. So, we have prepared a training vid on how to manage any hurt feelings caused by our evil empire. Here it is. Also, we'd like to announce our new complaints department. Just take a number and step into our concrete bunker. I mean waiting room. Next, fill in our hurt feelings report. Be sure to include your type of whining, the date your feelings were hurt, the person who hurt your pansy ass feelings, and which ear the hurtful words were spoken into. And remember, we take your hurt feelings seriously. Let us know if you need a hug or at least a tissue to cry into. Blankies, pacifiers and a warm bottle of milk can be supplied on request. And finally, Traction E-Reg's Head of Security, Chuck Harder, is available to provide counselling for your hurt feelings. Ch -ch 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 Chuck Harder! But seriously, it's good to see there are so few complaints about the vids from whining, demanding, spoiled brats nowadays. There are still a lot of requests for personal recommendations on uh, which bike they should buy or which oil, tyres or suspension settings to use, which of course I can't answer. They should just be doing their own research. Oh yeah, it's to the left here. Usually complaints just give me the shits, but on the other hand, constructive feedback is always great. For example, the topic of racism came up after posting dodgy vids like this. What the so grasshopper. You think you need to change dirty engine oil? Wrong dung beetle. Instead, focus on dirt within and let engine oil change you. Become samurai enduro hero instead. A dirt rider originally from Vietnam asked me what the message behind this video was. He felt it could be easily interpreted as racist, so he was interested to see what the intended meaning was. My response? It was meant to be ironic. Over the years, I have constantly joked about national stereotypes, including Australians, and just making fun of how we all have such narrow views of different cultures. But of course, it gets even more ironic if somebody doesn't get the irony. But of course, if a significant number of viewers with an Asian background complained, I would probably have to stop messing around with this sort of stereotype. Another interesting case was sometimes I referred to Jap bikes for any dirt bike made in Japan. In Australia and other countries, this is simply shorthand for saying Japanese. But apparently, some people in the USA find this racist. While I was in Canada, I spoke with quite a few people about this and got a range of responses from, ah, that's just the lonely left guys on the States, to, 
yeah, that would be considered racist by some people. Maybe you should stop saying Jack. Well, it's all very interesting stuff. Trying to find the middle ground between political correctness gone mad and maybe genuinely offending some viewers. I'd be very interested to hear from any viewers with a Japanese background. By the way, Traction E-Rag is run by volunteers. So if you are very good at masturbating and any of the media stuff mentioned here, feel free to apply. They wrecked my life. <laughs> you can wreck yours too. What else? Some of you will know I've got an old adventure riding channel as well. I've started posting some new vids there from a very cool four day ride in Vietnam this year. If you can handle some road riding video, then feel free to check it out. I'll see you all later chaps and chapettes.